cardio since I'm about to go into a cardio session and I haven't really sat down and explained what I'm doing for cardio and how I'm structuring it. So, Hi guys, good morning and happy Thursday. Oh my god, it's already Thursday. I never really know what day of the week it is, but now that I've got back to vlogging, I was like, okay, what day is the week we are on? Like, let me introduce it that way. So today is March 22nd, I think, something like that. Maybe it's not, I don't know. And I wanted to show you my outfit today. I'm wearing the Forever Living Young joggers. They're pink, they're really cute. And uh, it has some pockets. They're really comfy, I like comfort. So, this is how they look. I like them. So I've always wanted pink pants, always. I was like, I can't find any pink pants that like, I wear on a daily basis. Like I have pink leggings, but they're not that comfortable. These are very comfortable, and I probably am gonna wear them about four times a week so that I actually know the person who owns the company, and he's based out of Venice, California, and definitely wanted to support him, got a pair of leggings, so I really love them. It's not just like me promoting his brand, it's me actually liking what I bought. So I'm only gonna buy something and promote something that I love. All right, so I also got a package in the mail. It just came today, and I know somebody had sent me a few things, so I figured I'd open it up for you guys. Okay, so these are the Magic Seasoning Blends. It has like, oh, it's kind of cool. It has like this whole like informational thing, and oh, I've gotten these before. Oh my God, throwback. Wow, throw that. Okay, so we have sweet magic, salt free. We have sweet basil and tarragon. These are all like salt free seasonings. Um, we have six spice. Pizza and pasta. That sounds really good. Pizza and pasta. Oh, my mom used to use this one all the time. The magic uh, salt free seasoning. It's really good toasted onion and garlic lemon and cracked pepper there might be more but i definitely going to use them so on the times where like i already use like my salt content for the day i can always add that into my next meal as you guys know or if you don't already know i do use a decent amount of salt per day um because I think you should probably have more than 2,000 milligrams of salt per day. That is an opinion, so do not take what I say. I'm not a doctor. But for me um, and my body and looking more into how the body utilizes sodium and how good it is for you, I use the pink Himalayan salt. So your body is really good at taking in things and utilizing them. So it'll always balance itself out so if you're used to eating a certain amount of sodium per day your body will be used to balancing that it's not going to make you bloated because it's used to it so the way like the membrane works and how like the sodium levels even out that's how that happens so if you're let's say if you go if you're consistently eating let's say 1500 milligrams of sodium per day and then all of a sudden you jump up to 3000 and then you go back to 1500 that's when you would notice a difference but if you were consistently eating 300 milligrams of salt per day then you wouldn't notice any difference no extra bloating and your body would be adapted to it so that that makes sense but i need to get some work for the day i'm going to do some emails right now i have to go to venice get a workout lots of fun things so let's get to it I went to Venice, I looked at a property that might be moving to, so never know. I'm just throwing it out there that that's what I'm doing, currently looking. And I just got to lunch with Nick. We're having some chicken teriyaki. I'm having, I got double salad and four little sushi rolls, so not six or eight or whatever. So that's what I'm gonna eat. I'll show you when it comes out. It's still raining, 
And actually on the TV, they're talking about the storm. There's a storm on the East Coast. Thank God we're not dealing with storm, but we are dealing with rain. All right, so we have double salad, chicken teriyaki, and four California rolls. Good morning, guys. Today is Saturday. This is the view, if you guys don't know already. We're in the court right off of my apartment, and this morning we're gonna get in a workout. Right in my apartment building. I'm not driving to Venice today, so I can't make it to Gold's. So we're gonna make do with my apartment gym. I really do love it. You can get a good workout if you just utilize all the equipment they have correctly. So I'm really excited. Let's get to it. There was a time when you had me fall into the ground Like a king without a crown Whoa. Why you make it hard? Don't let me down You might as well be lost but I'm found I'm waiting for your love You just keep me Like I said, 30 second sprint high, minute, like low intensity, but I remain on the incline. So I like to keep it between a three and four incline and then go up to like a 9.5, 10 speed. So super sweaty, feeling really good. <laughs> and I'm gonna go up, take a shower, and make my first meal of the day. So right now, I'm currently fasted. All right, so I mixed together the oats, the cauliflower, and I added one scoop of the AMP Denutrition Vanilla Vegan Protein Powder. And I'm gonna add in a couple of packets of stevia. Three hours later. I just wanna thank you guys so much for all the sweet comments and love and support in my last video. I went away for an entire month and a lot of you had said like, I totally understand and I need that time to like refocus and figure out what I want and like come back even stronger. And I feel like this time around, I've come back with a better mindset. So before I was constantly feeling bad for myself, making excuses, um, getting down instead of looking for solutions maybe you've been here and you get here and you're like how do I get back up there how do I just like you're you create these habits for yourself where you know something bad happens or something that you really don't want to happen happens and our first thought our first instinct is to feel sorry for ourselves maybe cry maybe be upset and uh, not ex know exactly how to get back up here and for me I had to take some time for self-development and what really helps me was listening to Abraham Hicks her real name I think is Esther but listening to her videos on YouTube really taught me a lot and so she is teaching me all almost every single day and I do value taking the time to work on your self-development there are times where I used to be scream and I used to be so angry when I would when things didn't go my way and I would like be more towards like fighting and I would be sad when things were just bad right so you have to learn how to better respond to things so if something comes up in your life that you weren't expecting it's how can I make it better not be upset for what happened and be down for what happened and continue to feel sorry for yourself it's about figuring out a plan to move forward and that's what I did like coming back I said I am actually ready to get back in front of the camera I'm in the mindset where I have to take responsibility for my actions I have to live for me I have to 
work hard every single day on the things that I want, focus on what I want, and believe that I can achieve them. So I think it's super important like to listen to mentors, have people to feed off of, surround yourself with people who are making you better every single day. And that is what's going to push you in the direction you want. If you're constantly around people who don't support you, if you're constantly around people who don't share the same goals as you, then you're going to wind up being just like them. And so you look at the people that you're around and are they the people that you admire in your life? Are they the people that you, you want to be like or um, want to share those same successes? Like really think about who you surround yourself with and that's what I had to do for myself I wasn't always surrounding myself with the people that were actually making me better and it's different you know like I'm I'm living a different life I live in a different state I live all the way across the United States so things are different but um I just want to share that mindset is key I wake up I go do my cardio I go do my workout I track my food it's it's providing structure in the, for my decision to now become better so I can't like half ass do something just try and work out and think like okay well I can do this just because I worked out no it doesn't work that way you need to completely do something if you're gonna if you're gonna put your time and energy into one thing completely do it don't try to half ass and try to get around with doing other things and hoping it hoping it'll work out you know you don't want to hope you just want to do every day do and get closer and closer to where you want to be so I do did want to share that I'm gonna get to some client check-ins right now I have a lot of check-ins from yesterday and I was gone the entire day so today is the day for check-ins and I'll see you guys in a little bit 346 minutes later all right, so we just finished up some photos of Beverly Hills. Nick took some photos. He's got some new leggings coming out, and I I uh, took photos in one of them, one of my favorite colors that I'm coming out. So you guys will see uh, previews of it. If you check out the Crown Sander page, you'll be able to see more of the leggings coming. But I am gonna post in one of the colors. So <laughs> they're really nice. Yes, they're yeah. they're perfect for spring. Yeah, and uh, they're not. Through. They're super comfy and other than that we took uh, some more photos in other different outfits and we're about to get some food. We appreciate all the love. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Everybody has so many amazing feedback to say about all the Crown Center yeah, clothing. It's, like, so. it's overwhelming. I wake up, We all, I don't know about Sam, but I wake up in the morning and uh, my phone's just full of just good things to say about the pieces and the message and everything. So. Yeah. Very grateful. Thank you. Yeah, super awesome. So like he definitely makes sure the quality is good. He's putting out a good product. And yes. Oh my god, yes. This is a little upgrade to the package. Get back to the environment. Yeah, hell yeah. Look at these trees. It's Beverly Hills Hotel right there. It's oh, a famous damn. hotel. So pretty. It's it's like... Look at this car in front of us. If you guys don't already know, my dream car is a Range Rover and I'm eventually going to get it. So I, I love to see it all around. Uh, so many people in LA have a Range Rover. I love it. So yeah, we're going to get some food and I'll see you guys at dinner. So my typical routine in the morning is to go get my coffee, go back to my room, and then go back to my laptop. I never come to my car, I never come outside. I had to come to my car and outside because I left my camera in there. And I walked outside and I breathe and it feels so good. So good to be out here right now, but it's so nice in LA. Um, LA has its moments, it's been having its moments these past few months, it's been rainy, cold. Uh, it has its days where it's sometimes warm, but really not that warm. And uh, so today it's like super pretty and it just feels so good. Like a lot of oxygen going into my system, drinking my coffee, taking my time, and really just enjoying the view. All right, so I figured now would be a good time to discuss cardio since I'm about to go into a cardio session and I haven't really sat down and explained what I'm actually doing for cardio and how I'm structuring it. So typically I'll go in the mornings 
I like to go when I first wake up, when I pass the stomach, after I've gone to the bathroom, and I'll do about 20 to 30 minutes at a time. So I fluctuate, one morning will be hit, one morning will be steady state. So I fluctuate back and forth, and then one time a week, I like to incorporate some total body conditioning, that day where I'm exactly not weight training, but I'm doing a mixture between high intensity exercises that are more cardio based. And that'll typically be like a 40 to 45 minute workout. So for steady state, my recommendations for myself and for you guys, if you need like something to follow or figure out like what should I do for the cardio, I do recommend doing a max incline walk. So typically I'll do a 15.0 incline, 3.0 speed, 2.8 speed, whichever you feel like doing, and that's what I do, and I don't hold on. So you'll typically see a lot of people in the gym doing incline walk, and they're holding on, and whatever, and maybe that's just to, like preferred for some people, and they want to like go a little bit faster, but for me, I find it a lot more intensified if I don't hold on, and I'm pumping with my arms and using my total body, and I'm sweating a lot more. So that's what I do for a steady state incline, this gym here doesn't have the Stairmaster, um, fortunately they just don't, but I do really love doing the Stairmaster for a steady state session, and I won't hold on for that either. I'll typically do a level like 7, 6, depending on, I don't want to go too fast, like you don't want to go super fast on a steady state session for a Stairmaster because you want to feel it in your glutes and hamstrings as you're pressing each leg. So you're keeping your core tight, you're going up slightly, and like with a steady pace and uh, you're, you're sweating a lot, you should be sweating a lot and uh, drinking your water as you're doing your steady state cardio. So I, that's typically my favorite ones. And then for HIIT, I love doing incline sprints. Like I used to really, really hate them. And it's not that I, like, I'm obsessed with them like nothing, but they make me feel like really powerful. So I love running really, really fast. I love like the, like how intensified it is because now I'm going like much faster than I used to. So I typically keep it at like a 5.0 incline. I'll go between like, a 10.0 to 10.5 speed for 30 seconds, walk for a minute, minute 30, and I just fluctuate between the two. For the Stairmaster, I love doing hit on the Stairmaster. I do fluctuate between a level 6, and then I go all the way up to like level 16. So level 16 for 30 seconds, minute, minute 30, then level 6. So fluctuate between the two. And I'm typically doing 20 minute, 30 minute sessions right now. Um, sometimes I'll do like 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes at night if I feel like I'm up for it. But right now I'm keeping cardio uh, probably about 30 minutes a day. So, which is kind of high, but I have been doing cardio for like over three years now. There was a point in time where I wasn't doing any cardio for like eight months, but um, I've kept cardio in for a while. I love the endurance of it. I love to sweat. I really love sweating. And uh, so I'm typically doing that right now. Uh, I, my plan wasn't really structured before, like I was doing like 20 minutes of cardio a few days a week, but now I'm consistently doing, I would say, 30 minutes of cardio five days a week, and uh, I'll increase it if I need to. So I love starting my mornings off that way, and I come back, eat my breakfast almost instantly, and uh, so that's what I do. I also do recommend the spin bike. I love doing the spin bike. There's a spin bike that's outside. You guys, I don't know if you've seen it, but I'll take you guys there this morning. I'll do the spin bike this morning so you can see how it's structured like in my gym in the apartment. And it has like a view of Hollywood and I like to do hit on there. So I stay in the third position uh, for this, for the spin bike. And I go like, I'm, like as if I'm like riding uphill and then I come back down the hill riding uphill, coming back down the hill, trying to push as hard as I can with a very high resistance, and I sweat a crap ton. So I really, really love it. Put on a really good playlist. I would say put together a really good playlist that like gets you going, and uh, it's it's really fun for me. And I like the fact that it's outside. Like I, Growing up in New Jersey, I never got the opportunity to really do cardio outside unless it was like two or three months of the year. Like I could never like do the spin bike outside in, in the middle of February or middle of March. Absolutely not. So, I mean, unless I want to freeze, I could do that too. But, uh, so it's really nice to be able to do that here. So I'll take you guys to go see the view. But these are my cardio recommendations. If you have any other questions about that, definitely let me know in the comments. I'd love to address them. So we're going to go do a cardio session now. I'll film that and then let's just do that and I'll explain.
Alright, so this is the spin bike outside. And this is the view from my street. So let's get to it. We're gonna do some hit on the spin bike today. Woo woo! Alright, so cardio is complete. Super sweaty, like soaked in sweat. Feel really, really good. Glad to have got it done. It's kind of loud. I know Hollywood's kind of loud, but we're gonna go back upstairs and I have one more thing left to say before this video ends. All right, so last thing I wanted to add is waking up with a purpose. I wake up now, I do my cardio, I, I create a good morning routine for myself. I will do a video full morning routine and I wanna include so much in one video and then not have enough content for you guys, but I think morning routines are really, really good. Plan your day, so what I've been doing is the night before, like writing out what I need to do the next day, so it sort of gives me motivation to wake up. I even write down, do your cardio, just like as a mental like note, that way when you wake up, uh, the first thing you do, do the cardio. And then it just like gives you motivation for the day, that way if you're having trouble getting up in the morning, having trouble feeling motivated in the morning, I would definitely like write a small schedule for yourself. You don't have to hit it to the T, but enough so like you have idea it gets you excited and you have something that you're working towards so i'm going to end the video here hope you guys enjoyed it i'm going to video the rest of the day so but that will go into the next vlog i love you guys so much give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't and i'll definitely see you in the next video